Good morning, everyone, on this uh, early Wednesday morning. Hopefully, you're off to a good start and uh, a wet start for many, and it's going to get a lot wetter before all is said and done with big rains moving in from the south and west. Otherwise, clouds, some mountain fog out there, a real paper boy's nightmare today. And uh, before all is said and done, another two to three inches of rain possible through late tomorrow night, ending by early tomorrow morning. So we'll get right into it. And uh, here, look a look at uh, what we have going on right now as uh, by the 8 o'clock hour you can see the front end of the rain really starting to move in and it will continue as we head into uh, the uh, next several hours and uh, we've had uh, some severe weather across Texas and Louisiana and parts of uh, southern Mississippi. We're not going to see the severe weather because temperatures are going to stay cool here so no threat of severe storms. Could have a rumble of thunder or two but the rain will be the big story for us as we head into the mid morning into the afternoon hours and look at that by uh, late this afternoon this evening so for rush hour boy it could be a real bugaboo with some heavier downpours that will continue into tonight and then late tonight most of the showers and thunderstorms will move off to the east and southeast after midnight and as we head toward morning we'll dry things out after maybe a little sprinkle and we'll have some sunshine return Thursday afternoon and that'll feel a lot better. So once again, there you see the conveyor belt of rain basically moving from south southwest to north northeast and then that will finally taper off a later uh, tonight into early tomorrow morning. So after that, there you see that colder weather starting to move in. It'll come in in chunks and uh, the first chunk will push in tomorrow. Really you won't notice a whole big difference as uh, temperatures, once again, will stay uh, at or near normal at least through Thursday. And then after that, we're going to be a little bit below normal as we head into Friday and the upcoming weekend. Notice weather systems may dive to our south, and it's going to be tricky to forecast this as we head into Christmas week. But you can see the big area of cold air that's just kind of set up to the north, and some of that will kind of make its way to the south, especially as we head into Christmas week. And uh, that will be uh, uh, the big story that we're going to be watching as we head into the next several days. Once again, Tuesday, one may dodges to the south, and then that will kind of uh, give way to another storm system perhaps by the end of next week. And a lot of folks are saying, well, is it going to snow? I don't know if it is or not, but basically one thing that we have... If you are looking for a white Christmas and New Year's, we're going to have the setup to where there's going to be a plenty of cold air. In fact, here's a look at what we're expecting between the 22nd and 27th of December. Now, this is a different looking map, but basically what this tells me is that there's a big chunk of cold air indicated in the deeper reds and the purples that's going to be diving from the northern plains all the way down into the uh, Rio Grande Valley and back into uh, the Tennessee Valley into the Gulf Coast as well and some of those areas will see temperatures 18 to 20 to 22 degrees below normal so there's going to be a lot of cold dry air whether something undercuts that that's still something we'll have to be watching but at least as we head through uh, the rest of uh, the month of December, like we were forecasting, it looks to be cold and it's going to get colder with each little shot of cold air that moves in over the next 8 to 10 to 12 days. So looks like the coldest of this weather may be toward Christmas Day. So that's something that we'll continue to watch. Now, if it gets really cold, basically all those storm systems will stay to our south. So that's something that we'll obviously keep an eye on and we'll know more as we get closer. But today, two to three inches of rain through late tonight and then the first cool down moves in later tomorrow and you'll definitely feel it a bit more as we head into your Friday. So take care, be safe, have a great rest of your Wednesday and uh, we'll talk to you later.